so we will be doing the model analysis here so for that mm, go to the define section and go to load cases so here we can see two loads data loads and model loads so for model loads let's see if we can modify it so here are all the things uh, we can modify it if we want for the model click on ok and then click on ok and then we will analyze uh, click on set analyze case and we will select the space premier click on ok go to the run analysis so we don't want the dead load to be run so if it is click on run so click on that option run do not case do not run case so here we will just run the model so here it is it's been loading here so now we can start the animation you can see the deformation in this uh, structure you can start the animation here and it will start the animation here it is so this is the model analysis of the structure so as we have seen the model analysis of the respective structure here so now we uh, will show the displacement for each and every joint here so for that I need to click on the 3d view and here are the three options we show undeformed shape and so this structure is currently an undeformed shape so here is the deformed shape and there are some options like joints frames cables shells uh, so, so as you want to see the displacements we will click on this and here it is you can check the loads here so we will check it for the dead loads i will check it for the model here uh, model number one and we will keep everything as it is and we will run the displacement and load so here it is so if we can see in each and every joint here we can see the u1 u1 u2 and u3 are showing so u1 u2 u3 are nothing but the displacements along the x axis y axis and z axis so in each and every joint as you can see we can find the displacements so that's how we can find the displacements in sap 2000